Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn about an important feature in Angular which is called property binding. It's a type of one-way data binding where we connect the data from component to template. In this, we'll be able to bind the properties, that is the HTML properties of DOM elements. We'll learn all about it in today's episode. Welcome back friends. This is part 26 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. I have planned around 100 tutorials and right now we are on 26th episode. Uh, I've covered all these topics that you see on your screen right now in details. The GitHub link for the notes is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. Also, please do make sure that you go through all these tutorials that I've covered in the previous episodes because you will have continuity in your learning and a better understanding of each of these uh, features as we cover step by step. Thank you in advance. Let's go. All right, a quick uh, note uh, for our viewers who are joining us new. What is data binding? Data binding is a way through which we connect the data from component to template or from template to the component, right? In two way, there are two types of data binding, one way data binding and two way data binding. In one way data binding, we have again component to view and view to component. In the previous episodes, we have covered interpolation. Today, we will be covering about property binding. Let's get started. <coughs> so what is property binding? Property binding is a technique that allows the user to bind properties of DOM elements from component to view, right? The data flow is only one way, that is from component to view. This can be used for any and all properties of HTML like title, placeholder, inner HTML, source, etc. Right? Um, so how do we write it? Property is equal to expression in square brackets. That's what we write it. So let's see that in action. Um, that, that's how we learn. So let me create some notes for you. This is episode number 26. Property binding, right? So first thing, uh, we write the property binding in square brackets, right? Like this. So you will write the property name equal to expression right? that you will evaluate. Uh, it's a one way data binding, right? Now uh, we can bind any, any slash multiple properties to an DOM element, right? Uh, and it's not restricted to any particular DOM element. You can apply to any DOM element, all right? So let's see that in action, right? Um, so if you see, this is the, let me run this application first for you. And if you remember in the last episode, we did this for loop, right? And we printed the values and we binded the interpolation with if else and with the for loop. So now I'm going to add a uh, property binding to some of these attributes and DOM elements. Let's let the application start real quick. In the meanwhile, please do like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting me. Thank you in advance. All right, so let's go to our component class, right? And what we are doing is let's do, let's not do anything in the component today. Let's keep it simple for your understanding. So I have a div, I have a link, and this has a property, right? So what I'm going to do, let's put a property called inner HTML equal to, right? So we created an object in the last episode, user object, if you remember, and we printed those values. So here we will write user object dot first name. So see, now I'm not writing inside the div. I'm assigning to inner HTML, which means it will automatically come inside this particular div, right? And that is the beauty of it. Because when you do a property binding, this is a property, inner HTML is a property which I'm binding the data, which is first name. So when you run this code, you will see that the first name is getting automatically pushed into this particular div. Similarly, uh, let's say, okay, so this is still building. And let's say I want to 
see here I have put an example of title right let me show you that again by typing to you for so here I'm saying title equal to so what this means is that whenever user mouse overs on this particular record he should see contact dot contact ID <coughs> right so on mouse over you would see that <coughs> right so you take the mouse over and you see one two three four right so if you see here this is the inner HTML that has come up now let's again put a title back to first name so basically you see it is the are just binding the properties here right in this case it's a title in this case it's a inner HTML um, if you are putting trying to put a source let's say image SRC right and you are sending the value from say the component right so I'll show you just now okay so do we have an image let's see mm, I don't think so but we can always get one so don't worry about that or this is a good example I'll just say um, image URL right if we don't have one then we should show alt equal to this right so let's save it and you will not see so let's give this image in the component right image URL equal to test dot PNG it's not there now that's fine so I'm saying if it's not there give alternate which is IMG alt right uh, and here MG alt is equal to this is missing image text okay so I have image URL if this image is found displayed here if it's not there show the image alt so see this is a missing image text which is again coming from your component right so basically you're seeing that I'm binding different types of data here right so you can bind anything that you want right in our case we have seen examples of inner HTML right we have done in our HTML example we saw um, image right source alt we did um, title similarly you can also have placeholder um, right and then you can have title so anything href you can have any property of HTML that you can think of right uh, there is no restriction there is no restriction to what you do one more example before I leave you today if you want to put let's say style dot color equal to right let's say text color well let's define this here text color val is equal to say blue so now what am I binding so now you see the value is blue right here page count right so now you see page count value is, is blue color because I'm binding now this style right this is also a proper property that I'm binding inside style I'm binding the color property right so this is essentially you get an idea that you can bind any HTML property right so you see red now so in you can bind any um, can bind any HTML property of DOM elements right so I will leave it that up to you right uh, and that's your homework right um, and that is how uh, it's it's pretty straightforward right uh, there is nothing um, that um, you don't um, you you should not think of it that uh, it's anything um, so it, it's basically uh, let me put it this way that go to w3schools.com right and there you have HTML tutorial right check out property of HTML elements and whatever element you see you can use property binding that's the simplest way I can put it for you and what happens in real-time applications right so let me show you <coughs> now in real-time applications let's say um, some use cases I'll give you that I have worked 
so that way you will get some idea all right so some real time um, use cases that i have used real time use cases right so one uh, dynamic tables right uh, dynamic table columns so let's say we have a grid uh, where we are trying to add dynamic uh, i'm trying to put together something like that so even you have dynamic table uh, you have the columns you can choose the columns right and if you choose one you choose two you choose three um, so that way you call count right so column count um, is another yet another important uh, property of table that you can change um, then we have also seen uh, linking right linking of images 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 this is from AWS that I've seen uh, s3 buckets Right, so this is yet another uh, thing that I've seen where you bind, uh, of course, um, binding of um, style properties is yet another uh, commonly used um, property binding example. Uh, so yeah, those are the high level, um, you can say that uh, property binding uh, usage in real time applications. I hope you like, I hope you have learned uh, something new. Uh, if you have any doubts, drop them in the comment section. I will try and help you. I'll see you in the next episode where we will learn about attribute binding and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video also if you like my work please consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you so much i'll see you in the next episode of attribute binding